Today we're at Stag's Leap Winery in Stag's Leap District in Napa. So here's the entrance. As you can see, there's vineyards and everything. It's a 360 view and we're going to take you inside. wine cellar so it's in its namesake so the legendary Stags Lake district in Napa in the heart of Napa California and they're actually known for the judgment of Paris tasting in 1976 when their red SLV vineyard cab actually won the red wine tasting competition in the Paris tasting the judgment of Paris that it's also known as which is the most famous tasting where two California wines won in that competition amongst French wine judges. And so that kind of put their winery on the map. And that's SLV Vineyard. It was their 1973 vintage and it was the 1976 tasting in Paris. So that really brought their winery to the masses and showcased that California Cab can compete with Bordeaux and Burgundies and the best wines in France and which really turned the tide for California winemakers as a whole. So we're gonna show you inside, taste a few of the wines and the SLV cab that won the competition um, and the grounds. So let's go inside. vineyard and then SLV the fire vineyard and that is exactly what we're looking up to out here so you have Bay SLV <laughs> This one, the first one, Faye, yeah. 2017 Faye is purple, like definitely kind of like a bright purple. Almost we call that electric pink, electric pink rim, like bright pink rim. So you can kind of see the pink here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This one is a little, this one is a little more red, red meniscus, not as pink. Or purple more ruby garnet with a little purple this one also is a little more opaque not as clear as this guy the fey so a little more texture a little more richness and this one is a combination of both same vintage um, similar hue I would say not as purple as the first one but all very similar in color and clarity.
through the lineup and we have the Chardonnay, which is the Arcadia Vineyard Chardonnay. It's 2017 and I love it. It's actually really well balanced. It's not too buttery. It's really clean and you can almost tell by the color. It's just really light. It's not super golden yellow. So this is a classic Chardonnay and it'll age for another five years. So anytime I find a Chard of this caliber, I usually pick it up and take it home. So this is definitely gonna be one of my selections. Um, and it's three years old right now. So it's actually tasting really, really nicely. Um, and then the first red that we're tasting is the Fay Vineyard Cabernet. All of these, um, each of these are Cabernet 2017 vintage. Um, so this is the Fay Vineyard. They call it the water vineyard um, because it has a really good solid water source. So you just get a little more lush fruit, like bright, prettier fruit. And I also get a little more tartness, good acidity, really pretty red fruits with a little bit of like boysenberry. And then with the second one, so this is SLV, they call it the fire vineyard. And this one essentially, you could tell the vine struggled a little bit more, has a little more texture, it's a little bit richer, um, and a little more velvety texture. Okay, so we tasted through the Fay and the SLV vineyard, both 2017, and then this third one was a $300 bottle, and it's actually a blend of the two. Um, same vintage, so I think these two are standing out, and I'm definitely gonna do the SLV vineyard, which is, they call it the fire vineyard, so the vines struggle a little bit more, and it has a little more texture, and it's just a little more going on, a little more depth. And then the last one that I'm gonna choose is they call it the Heart of Fay. So it's the heart of the water vineyard. So it's the best kind of blocks of the Fay vineyard. Um, and so it has a little more richness. And this one, I think they made about 200 cases of. Definitely limited production, part of their wine club membership program. And it's 2016, so it has another year of age to it, so it's a little bit softer, and it's just really leaping out of the glass, very, very fragrant, and great acidity, so definitely um, a bigger bouquet and more going on. I think it's going to be a great food pairing wine, um, and good in the cellar to age for another 5 to 15 years, but drinking excellent right now, so it's definitely going to go in my ship.